welcome back to them hoppers tonight we are making the copycat jack-in-the-box tacos these are the super simple ingredients so you're going to start with ground beef i'm sure you could do ground turkey ground chicken whatever you like and then inside of the meat for flavoring i'm going to add chopped onions and then i'm going to be adding this street taco seasoning which has everything that i want in it it has chili pepper salt paprika garlic onion powder all of the good things so i'm just going to use this we really love this one by blackstone so that's all that's going to go into the meat then you're going to fry them in oil and i'm going to be using the ready to cook tortillas i really love these i really feel like your food tastes just a little bit better because you're cooking them basically and then we're going to put lettuce in them and then you guys the craziest thing cheddar cheese i forgot what this was called just now american cheese just like jack in the box hilarious so i'm gonna go ahead and get all of the meat together and then i'm gonna show you guys how i put it together i'm gonna, I'm gonna fry it up and then um, you could also add tomatoes and things like that but we're just gonna keep it simple with lettuce and cheese today so i could not take credit for this this has been going around tiktok it went viral on tiktok from a few creators and i am just going to recreate it as well my mom has made something similar to this and i know that is not just a jack-in-the-box taco i do know in some cultures they make tacos just like this the raw ground beef in the tortilla and then they fry it up it's supposed to make it taste a lot better so don't come for me in the comments for putting raw meat because that's the way that it is supposed to be i guess the raw meat the oil from the raw meat and frying it really boosts the flavor so you're gonna do this with me i'm this is also my first time trying this out so we are going to take this adventure together and we're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm excited. It looks delicious. So let's go ahead and get the meat together and start making these tacos. beef mixture is all mixed together and you guys while i was mixing i forgot to take my wedding ring off so i have it over here in some sanitizer to clean it my goodness i washed my hands and all forgot to take it off so i'm gonna let that clean um while i put these tacos together all right let's put this meat into some tortillas tortilla you're gonna put a little beef on it you're gonna flatten it out to one side like so <laughs> And then that's it. And once you put it in your pan, you'll fold it over. I will show you guys that. So again, I guess it's super easy. <laughs> You're basically just putting, you know, a ground or like a hamburger patty size down on one side. Yes, it is raw, you guys. It is raw. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these together. they look really delicious i might add even a little bit more spice onto them a little more seasoning as i put them into the fryer um just because it looks like i feel like they need more seasoning anyway so next step is i gotta let my oil heat up so before i do so i'm going to prep all of the other things i'm gonna get the cheese all unwrapped i'm gonna get the lettuce shredded and i'm gonna wash the dishes in the sink before i do that because i like to clean as i go so let's do all of those things right now this new tool that i've seen on amazon recently so i picked it up it is for cabbage or lettuce and it just shreds it so thin look at that i just had to share with y'all look how awesome that is for like your tacos anything if you're making a lumpia Makes it so thin. I really love that. I went ahead and put it in my Amazon storefront if you guys want to pick one up. But this is definitely um, another little kitchen gadget that I love. Now for the cheese, the only thing that I'm doing is um, taking it and then I'm cutting it apart with my kitchen scissors. Before I just set the mat. Sorry about that guys. With my kitchen scissors, I am just being extra 
because I want them to be in a triangle. So, okay, this was easier off camera. But anyways, I cut them in a triangle, just like Jack in the Box does. And that is it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, I tried to cut it in the wrapper. It doesn't work. So, it is what it is. I'm just extra. You don't have to cut yours like a triangle. But, but why not, right? Right? Right. Okay. So, there's that. Looks delicious, just like Jack in the Box. And I think we are ready to fry our tacos. All right, guys, so you're gonna put the whole thing in flat, let the tortilla get a little bit soft, and then you'll go ahead and fold it over, and then you'll let them cook. Uh, make sure you put it in flat before, because I tried to fold it and the tortilla broke. We don't wanna do that. So put it in flat, let the tortilla get soft, and then fold it over. Give them about three or four minutes in here, really nice and crispy brown, and they are done. I'm gonna continue to show you how I do this. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. The oil is very hot, so be safe. done frying them I let them all cool we did a fun little batch over here they look delicious but all that I'm doing is adding a slice of cheese just like Jack in the Box to each one of the tacos all the way down to the bottom super simple um, I think it's funny to use this cheese but that is exactly what Jack in the Box does so again I do think that these tacos would also just be delicious with cheddar cheese lettuce tomatoes but for the purpose of today's video we are sticking with the Jack in the Box tacos. And I'm gonna add this to it. And the only two things you're gonna put on your taco is cheese and lettuce. So, this last one. All right. It was super simple to cook, few ingredients, easy. And I think it's gonna be really delicious. So, um, yeah, so let's add the cheese and then we're good to go. We can try them. Mm -hmm. All right, they look delicious. Now me and Chris are gonna try them out. All right guys, so we are trying them now, me and Chris. It looks really good. I added some salsa to mine and sour cream because that's how I like my tacos. Um, so let's give it a try, I'm excited. <laughs> it's delicious, easy. I loved how simple this was. It is, it is delicious, guys. I give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely not like Taco Bell, taco fake, but an authentic taco. It's delicious. Well, it's Jack in the Box, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> is it Taco Bell? <laughs> Always. It's like Jack in the Box, but better. <laughs> so, looks like a taco. <laughs> smells like a taco. It looks really good, though. <laughs> oh, y'all hear me chewing in the background? Oh, gross. <laughs> it's so delicious. It tastes like Taco Bell. I mean, Jack <laughs> it's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it makes a ton. A ten out of ten for sure. This was a delicious meal. I will be posting a recipe every Friday for the next couple of weeks, and hopefully I will continue this. All of the recipes that I'm gonna post are going to be either something that's trending on TikTok or online, a family recipe, definitely family-friendly recipes every single Friday. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, follow us on all of our social media platforms. Remember, we are posting every day this April. So we would love for you to stay here in our community. Um, and that is it. I should mention real quick, all of these chairs are in the background because I'm about to mom, mom life and Chris got home late. So, uh, we're just now eating, but just like that guys, this is done. Oh yeah. This is done. Oh yeah. <laughs>